GB. I don't remember if uh, this was a video that you made separately or was this a segment in another video you had, but it was one it was one video you had where I, I honestly want to ask you what was going through your mind when you made this because you you my homie, I'm saying a lot of love, but this is like the most not funny shit you've ever made in your life. It was the uh, the Dookie World video. Remember that shit? You had like Carl Winslow. Oh, That's yeah. like the character. What the fuck was that video, dude? Oh, uh, but I was just like... I I said before, I'm, I'm trying to get that reaction. I'm trying to come up with the most craziest shit in order to, to you know, get have people going, "What the hell?" Like that's what I was on back then. Like that's <laughs> he was shit actually putting pictures of shit no in the video. <laughs> yeah, shit like, like I was just nasty, trying to be over the. <laughs> yeah, I was just trying to be over the top and edgy. You know what I mean? Like that's what I that's that's what I was on. But yeah, you're right. That shit was stupid as hell. <laughs> 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 like. That was like the first video I watched from you. Like, well, I didn't not like have like a single like chuckle or nothing. I was like, but Gully, but what is this, man? Yeah, you know, you know, you had it sometimes with people, bro. But like I said, I was just, you know, on, you know, trying to come up with the craziest shit in order to get a certain reaction. All right, uh, I have a I have a segment called Looking Back. And this one, I'm just going to name, like, a couple of older videos you made and just, like, ask your opinion on, like, how you feel about it now. How did you feel when you first made the video? Like, is it one of your favorites? Is this a video you don't care about anymore? Blah, blah, blah. An easy one. An easy one we got to talk about, bro. Like, the best video you ever fucking made in your life. The story time video, bro. You was a bully in an all-white school. Oh, Please, yeah, man. The best video you ever fucking made. We got to talk hey, about I, this. <laughs> hey, I... I, 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 I I like that you said that that's my best video because, like, you know, that is that is a good video, and this shit was 100% true. <laughs> you made a sec, you made like a second story time video too, but you ended up deleting it. Like, it was like another one about you, like, being a bully or some shit. And it was like, you said like you and your sister, like, went to the same elementary school. No, it was some shit, bro. You had another story time video around that time. Uh, I gotta think about it. I don't, I don't remember, but the one you talking about. Like I need to get back on my story time because you I do, got do funny bro. Ass That's some of your favorite con some of your best content. Because I did a story time on my McDonald's mukbang like parody. You were scared of Ronald I, I <laughs> McDonald's. Of Ronald <laughs> yeah. But the bully one, the 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 bullying in a white school, bro, like Hey, I'm hold on. Did the cashier did the cashier did ass give your shit. um did the cashier did ass give your uncle back like a whole thirty six dollars? Did he not notice that shit? Yes. <laughs> yes, bro. yes, and we would. And, and, and it was it was my dad, and we was looking like. <laughs> I think I think they was just flabbergasted that we just ordered like thirty six double cheeseburgers, and they was they was all back there like, what the hell? <laughs> and I think that that just threw people off. He was but not dude, paying attention dude, at all. <laughs> but dude gave, bro, he kept he looked at me and said, "Shit, <laughs> <He was laughs> put like, it right in your pocket, yo." Oh, <laughs> I know that nigga got fired like a motherfucker. <laughs> 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 the, like, the, the drawer is $36 short at the end of the day. <laughs> oh, me, boy. Like, nigga, what is you doing, boy? He got his ass fired. But my <laughs> All right, the story, the story time about the, the bully shit, what you said happened, bro. That was really a whole true story, all that shit? Yes. 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 A hundred percent true, bro. It was, a, it was an all-white school I went to in Kansas City called uh bush none majority white kids he had a couple of black kids on there but they was basically white too <laughs> Cause, <laughs> cause they wasn't Uncle the first time i ever lived in like a a, a community with white people because my mom remember the movie boys in the hood where uh, trey mama came that's how my mama was she came up in the world bro you had a nice ass apartment and all type of shit bro i was like damn so that's how that's how my mama came up, like Trey Mama did. Because remember, she had the raw ass apartment that when he was all grown up and shit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, my mama stayed in like an apartment like that, and then them, the all white school. It was definitely a new experience, bro. It was crazy. Like One of the questions I want to ask you: What was the game you was playing in that video? Oh, uh, Torok Rage Wars. It was an N sixty four game. Okay, that's one thing I never knew. I'm like, what game is this dude playing? Yeah, that's one of the yeah, most Torok, irritating things bro, about those videos was like watching the gameplay in the back. Yeah, Torok was the shit. That's one of my favorite N64 games, bro. I grew up on Torok, 
And a lot of people was talking about I was ass. I'm like, yo, <laughs> nigga, I was I was busting them niggas. Bro. <laughs> bop, 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 me. Like, I won every game in on, on, on that uh, gameplay, but it's like you die one time, nigga, you ass. Like, you ass. <laughs> like, like you don't die in Call of Duty when you playing online, boy. Like you just getting all kills and no damn, <laughs> you ass. Out of here, nigga. <laughs> Dumbass, oh, but yeah, um, like yeah. like that first day when dude was like, "How are your grades?" I was like, "Nigga, what?" <laughs> Is it like that shit normal to ask somebody? <laughs> hey, nigga, nigga, what? Never in my life have another kid asked me that. But I'm like, "What is you, my mama, nigga?" <laughs> <laughs> And you told him shit up. You was like, bro, my grades, like, they suck. Like, and I don't care. Nigga, get on my face. I did. Bro, my grades was terrible in middle school. I ain't give a shit. I was like, nigga, my grades are horrible. Like, I was like, bro, you really care about grades? <laughs> bro, you had me cracking the fuck up. You was like, man, like, I ain't, I ain't thinking about my grades. Nigga, I'm trying to wonder which one of these white bitches going to give me some head. That's what I was thinking about. Was straight up. I was like, man, these white, the white girls did look good. I was like, damn. What's up with these white girl? I was like, who up in the mall get a best top? Got that me? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe this grades. nigga. <laughs> talking about grades, but the white girls they despised me because, like I said, they thought I was a bully. I was just like, I don't give a fuck. I was, I was an outcast for real. Like, one of the reasons you I say was, was outcast because the way you looked, you was like, you was taller and like bigger than everybody. I was else. big, bro. Like, I'm a tall dude. In the middle school, I was huge. I was like, I compare myself to Mike Brown. Like, that's how I look. Oh, okay, okay. You know how big Mike Brown was? Yeah. Like, that was me <laughs> in middle school and in high school. Because I was real, real, real chubby, too. One thing, one one story I didn't tell is when um, when I had, when I had first went to the PE class, and we was playing basketball, bro. And I dribbled the ball through my legs. And everybody was like, oh, how did you do that? I was like, nigga, what? The basic ass move. You know, this ain't even nothing exclusive. I'm like, bro, this, this, like, what do you mean? <laughs> it was like, how did you do that? I've never seen that before in my life. I was like, what? Bro, you should have been doing all the M1 street ball shit just to show off on them. Bro. <laughs> I was too shocked. It was like, bro, you don't know how to fucking. And they was, and they was, they was high key racist up in that motherfucker, like the staff and the students, because, like, this was before I went to gym class, and the gym teacher had was like, um, they said the gym teacher called my mama and was like, we want to get him to play basketball. I was like, man, you know, that's the stereotype, like every. Black kid want to play basketball. Like I'm, you was, I, you was I tall, know. you was big. So that, yeah, he got a hoop for the team. <laughs> yeah, I ain't even no hooper. Like I, I just played for, I just played for. Like my boy Cash, what do you say, Cash, Cash Nasty? He like, I'm just a hooper. I'm not a hooper, hooper. <laughs> <laughs> I play this shit in my spare time. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, I mean, I've never really been like a a sports type of person, you know. But they was shocked. I was like, bro, y'all ain't never seen nobody. Dribble the ball through their legs, nigga. Like I would have brought out all the hot sauce and half man have amazing shit just to show bro, up. Bro, I should have, head. bro. Like that, that would have been hella funny. <laughs> <laughs> Crossing niggas. It wasn't nothing to cross them niggas over. They was trash, bro. And then dodgeball. Oh, you could have been God. like Riley, but you could have been like Riley in the ball in the episode. You could have been the one good person <laughs> on the ass team full of white people. You could have been like that. You feel me, bro. I really could have dominated that shit for real because I was a big ass dude. But yeah, what man. happened with dodgeball? Yeah, when it got around, huh? Yeah, when it got around the dodgeball, I was man, it was terrible, bro. I'm, I'm knocking them little dudes down, dog. Just <laughs> the whole. I think I'm like, the main. I'm like, I'm like, are y'all gonna dodge? Like, what the fuck? It was like when I got the ball, they froze up. I'm like, you know, you can move around, right? Why are you just standing in one spot? Well, they got scared of you. That's what it was. As soon as you got the yeah, ball, they, they was like, oh, shit. Yeah, they would be like, oh, shit. And then the story, they set me up on that. Remember the story you about the white girl? <laughs> yeah, the white girl I hit with the dodgeball. That was a whole setup now that I look back on it, bro. Because <laughs> they drew my name out of everybody. And, soon as, and as soon as my name got drawn and they called me down there, they was like, <gasps> I was like, 
Because they already know I'll be knocking them niggas' heads off in dodgeball <laughs> in gym class. That was a setup. And her dumb ass just going to stand there. I'm like, bitch, move so I won't hit you. <laughs> it's dodgeball. You're supposed to die. Why she just stand there? <laughs> she stood, bro. She stood there. And we you said so you were standing pretty close to yeah. Yeah, you we was, was at, I didn't understand. We were so close. I'm like, we supposed to be like far away from each other. Like we was hella close. And she literally just stood there. Like it was meant for whoever whoever name to get drawn to win. Okay, so yeah. But me, <laughs> but me, I'm thinking, all right, she finna run or some shit. I just whoo. Wow. <laughs> Smack the shit out of her ass. The little flannel thing on a turkey flew off. <laughs> and then everybody in the audience was like, oh, I'm like, yeah, some bitches, man. <laughs> I think the main, the main part of that video that had me crying laughing was when you was like, all right, after that story, I couldn't get no white bitch. All the white girls oh, were looking at no. me like, this nigga probably abuses women. <laughs> yes, because, because, because when we went to class, she was hella mad at me. I'm like, why are you mad? Is you supposed to dodge? What the fuck? I'm supposed to hit you. Was she even somebody that you was like even cool with like that, or did she even talk to Chelsea nah, anyway? I wasn't cool with none of them white girls. They was all. Oh, he's a booby. He stuck in like this. Oh, dumbass up, bro. She was thick though. She had that. She had a fat ass. She was the only white girl up there that had a big booty. I was like, man, <laughs> I ain't gonna get her no time soon. So was there any? Cause you talked about your homies that you had at that school. Was there any like uh, black girls that you was cool with? No. Or, damn. Because the, it was only one black girl up there. You shit, any, white, any white girls then? What you cool with? <laughs> nah, I wasn't really cool with no white girl. Because like I said, like, I was an outcast. And because people kept fucking with me. Like, like them kids were innocent, bro. They would fuck with me. You feel me? Because I remember I told a story on there about this Hispanic dude. He was about my size. I ain't going to fake it with you. It was too... Uh, I can beat up Michael, boy. like that dude. <laughs> yeah, he was like, you know, I'm nigga talking shit, man. I, I can beat you up. I can beat you up. And then when I caught that nigga lacking in the, um, in the locker, locker room. room, yeah, nigga like, what's up? Bitch, hey, nigga, where I'm from, nigga, you got to... You say shit like that, you got to bang with me, my nigga. What's good? And then it was so funny because... Do the move we practice, man. <laughs> I was dead, bro. <laughs> he said, do the move we practice. I'm like, nigga, this nigga ain't finna be doing shit. That is fucking hilarious, dog. That story time video is a classic, my nigga, for real. The reason yeah, I loved it so much because shit. when I when I found that when I found that video, I was legit like sick as a motherfucking dog one day, bro. Sneezing, coughing all over the place. Just one of them days when like you just lay in bed for like sixteen hours. Like I didn't even want to eat, bro. I was just so fucking tired, bro. I just turned that bitch on, like that video. I was just going to your channel and I saw I'm like story time. Okay, this shit. Uh, let me let me see what Gully talking about. What the story time about? I watched that video like six times that day. That video had me crying, <laughs> laughing, bro. I'm like, this is yeah, fucking man, classic. Like yeah, it is, bro. I love, I love that video because it's, it's all true, man. And yeah, and everybody was like in the comments, like, nigga, it was the real life Boondocks. I said, hell yeah, you can make a Boondocks episode out of this shit. <laughs> Easily my, your best video, in my opinion, but I would never forget yeah. that one. Bro. I'm, that's what I'm saying, man. You ain't making no more story time ones. But um, another one I made during that time was when <laughs> is when me and, is when uh me and my little cousins uh talking about man, you know your granny got a porno. I was like, what? what? <laughs> yeah, my granny used to watch wrestling like a motherfucker. She used to record the pay per views, and I guess. She recorded over some of the pay per view with with a porno, one of them HBO pornos, bro. <laughs> you know them, remember, remember them HBO pornos and shit with the. It was like the Planet of the Apes type shit. It Unfortunately, I know that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Niggas remember that shit, dog. Like, so my little cousin then went and got it, bro. And we they fast forward through the Rock and Stone Cold and all that shit. Got to the point though. We was all in that bitch dead laughing, bro. I was like, God, <laughs> niggas tripping. I hope I didn't get caught. And then she and then she a peep her head in the room, like, y'all want something to eat? We here we turn that bitch off. <laughs> <laughs> that I might, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have to redo that one, man. Story time yeah. videos in general, but please bring them back, bro. We we love those videos for sure, man. You gotta entertain. You saying like a lot of crazy shit didn't happen, but you can definitely come up with some uh creative shit. I know you can. Some entertaining shit. Yeah, cause my high school. Oh my god. You Ooh. you never talked about high school, bro. It's like we only got some middle school story from you. 
Yeah, I got to do the high school. Because <laughs> this is when I came back to the hood. So, nigga, shit. 